Hello everyone, this is Vikas Kumar. Welcome to Marine Tutor Marine Engineering Lecture. This is our first lecture on heat exchanger. In this lecture, we were going to discuss about advantages and disadvantages of silent tube type heat exchanger and plate type heat exchanger. And in our upcoming lectures, we will discuss the constructional detail and working principle. First of all, I have topic this topic because this is frequently, mostly and always asked questions in TME interview. Mein. Bahut baar so, this is why I have made lectures alag se separate lectures. Hai. So, now without wasting much time, let's discuss our lectures. So, my first heat exchangers I will plate type of heat exchangers. So, first one is what are advantages of plate type heat exchanger? So, first advantage is it is simple and compact in size. Okay, second advantage is heat transfer efficiency is more in plate type heat exchanger okay third advantage is it can be easily cleaned fourth advantage is no extra space is required for dismantling why no extra space is required for dismantling because plate type of heat exchanger is simple and compact in size next and most important point is capacity can be increased by introducing plates in pairs what does it means means what we can increase or decrease the capacity of heat transfer or heat exchanger by introducing or excluding number of plates in pairs if we want to if we want heat transfer efficiency increase then what we do we can introduce more number of plates in pairs if we want less heat efficiency then what we do we can excluding number of plates in pairs so accordingly capacity can be increased by introducing plates in pairs and capacity can also be decreased by excluding plates in pairs so this is the biggest advantage in plate type of heat exchanger okay now another more most important point is leaking plates can be removed in pair if necessary without replacement okay and next one is maintenance is simple okay and uh, here what happened turbulent flow help to reduce deposited which would interfere with heat transfer okay means here there is a turbulent flow okay so that turbulent flow is able to reduce some deposited okay which would interfere with heat transfer which may leads to uh, decrease the heat transfer so because of existence of turbulent flow which helps to reduce deposits which would interfere with heat transfer okay so this is all about the advantages now come to disadvantages so first disadvantage is initial cost is high why initial cost is high because plate type of heat exchanger is made up of titanium plates and titanium plates are expensive no doubt second one is finding leakage is difficult okay since pressure test is not as as is as tube cooler means uh, pressure test is difficult in plate type of heat exchanger as compared to cell and tube type of heat exchanger okay next one is next uh, disadvantage is bonding material between plates limits operating temperatures of the cooler okay so this is i think biggest advantage disadvantages okay now next one is and the biggest disadvantage is pressure drop caused by plate cooler is higher than cell and tube type of heat cooler means what pressure drop is more in plate type of heat exchanger as compared to cell and tube type of heat exchanger okay and uh, next point is we need uh, careful dismantling and assembling okay and uh, another disadvantage is over tightening of the clamping bolts there is a clamping bolts arrangement here so over tightening of the clamping bolts result in increased pressure drop across the cooler okay so this is all about the disadvantages and yes one more disadvantage is since a uh, plate uh, which is made up of titanium and titanium is a noble metal okay so other parts of the cooling system are susceptible to corrosion okay so this is all about the disadvantage of plate type of heat exchanger okay so now come to silent tube type of heat exchanger okay 
so what are the advantages of selling two type of heating the first advantage is less expensive as compared to plate type coolers as i am already told you plate type of plate type coolers is made up of titanium and titanium are expensive no doubt so here it is less expensive as compared to plate type coolers second advantage is it can be used in system with higher operating temperatures and pressures okay so this is the biggest advantage of selling tube type of heat exchangers and uh, third one is pressure drop across a tube cooler is less okay so this is also a biggest advantage and next one is tube leaks are easily located and plugged since pressure test is comparatively easy but in plate type of heat exchangers pressure test is difficult okay next one is tubular cooler in refrigeration system can act as receivers also okay so this point i will explain in i will explain in next lectures okay when i will deliver you about the constructional detail now next thing is means next advantage is tube cooler may be preferred for lubricating oil cooling because of the pressure differential okay now come to disadvantages point First disadvantage of tube cooler is heat transfer efficiency is less as compared to plate type cooler. Always remember heat transfer efficiency is more in plate type of heat exchanger than tube type of heat exchanger. Okay, so here this is disadvantage. Heat transfer efficiency is less in tube type cooler. Okay, second disadvantage is cleaning and maintenance is difficult. Okay. so there what we read in plate type of heat exchanger cleaning and maintenance is easy okay next disadvantage is and biggest disadvantage is capacity of tube cooler cannot be increased but in plate type of heat exchanger what we read capacity can be increased by introducing plates in pair that what we read in plate type of heat exchanger but here in tube cooler capacity cannot be increased okay so this is the biggest disadvantage of selling tube type of heat exchanger okay now next disadvantage is require more space in compar comparison to plate cooler but in plate cooler because of compact in size it require less space but in tube cooler it require more space in comparison to plate cooler okay so this is all about the advantages and disadvantages of plate type heat exchangers and sealant tube type of heat exchanger okay and this question is mostly always and frequently asked in tme interview so next lectures or up in upcoming lectures i will going to discuss you about the constructional detail of both the plates so stay tuned and Please do like share and subscribe and thank you for watching this video